hello and welcome to this session now again we'll come up with some interesting use case on sql interview questions now it's a very tricky concept of self join and it's very confusing as well so we'll try to make it simple and try to solve this problem my requirement here is that i have an employee table and here i can see i have employee id first name last name manager id and the department id i created the replicate of the same table because i want to apply self join so this is just to help you understand so ignore this table for now but if you see this table i am getting the information that nina lex and there are some other employees as well like then these guys the manager is manager id 100 now this manager id is 100 is nothing but the employee id if i check employee id of the steven it is 100 that means for nina for lex for den and there are other employees as well let's say i'll go and check for manager id as 100 there are total 13 employees the manager is steven for these 13 employees now what i am looking for what output i am looking for is that i want an output with the employee id then the first name of the employee and the manager id and the corresponding manager name so it looks like i want to join this column with this column somehow it's like in the same table i want to join two columns and obviously when i want to do a join on the same table self join comes into picture now it, let's come to this table and you can see that this is my table this table i want to join with this table my requirement is these are the two records the corresponding manager id is nothing but 100 i want to join this manager id somehow with this employee id then only i will get the information of steven here steven and steven in both the records that means let's say this is my employee table and let's make this as manager table then in the employee table the manager id i have to join with the employee id of the manager table how cool is that right what i am looking for is this is my employee table obviously this is also an employee table but i'm considering that hypothetically that it is a manager table so what i want to do is somehow i want to join this manager id with the employee id of the manager table so that we'll get the manager details and that is what we have to do let's try to achieve it let's see that now this is my table which consists of the employee details exactly same as the in the excel we saw and the query which i will write is what i am interested in select employee id then employee or i can say first name then i want manager id okay that's cool and then i want the employee name as well but now question arises employee name i am already calling so how will again the employee name will come as a manager name that means the introduction of the new table comes into picture so let's put um, first name only and this is coming as manager name all right and this first name is nothing but my employee name after that from employee and i am giving this as e i am giving the alias as e so that i am saying that this employee table is nothing but and i want to apply inner join employee again as m so i am saying that this second table which is what we are using the same table employee 
but I consider that as a different table and that is nothing but my manager table and I want to join on now question arises which table with join we already had a discussion out here that from the employee table manager column is what I'm looking for and from the manager table employee column is I'm looking for so I'll go ahead and write from the employee table manager ID is equal to from the manager table employee ID and then here also I will get error because employee ID employee first name then again we have first name again we have manager ID like it's a redundant columns coming in so I have to tell that this employee ID is coming from my employee table first name is coming from my employee table this manager ID I will get from where because this employee ID is my manager ID right or I can very well get the manager ID from here as well but let's say I'm segregating the table this as manager table and this as employee table so let's make this employee ID as my manager ID so if I will write here manager ID maybe let's put m dot employee ID something like that right if I will write m dot employee ID that means this or e dot manager ID that means this I think both are same right there should not be any issue because this is also 100 this is also 100 so if I will take e dot manager ID or m dot employee ID I don't have any issues with that m dot first name which is nothing but my manager name so I hope this is clear that e is nothing but my employee table and m is nothing but my manager table I want e dot first name e dot employee ID then m dot employee ID and m dot first name so e dot employee ID e dot first name m dot employee ID m dot first name and then I am joining e dot manager ID because I want to join this which is coming from e employee table with m dot employee ID and that is what we are doing here so I hope this is you are able to understand let's execute this let's check whether our understanding is correct or not and now here you can see that for Steven we are getting how many records one two three four five six seven eight nine then 10 11 12 13 so there are 13 employees who are like reporting Steven directly and that is what we saw here as well right if you guys remember so if I will make my manager ID as 100 you'll see that there are 13 employees coming in let's check for other employees let's say when my manager ID is 102 how many employees we have only Alexander let's go ahead and check for 102 Alexander is what the employee it is reporting to apart from that I don't see any 102 so I hope this is clear to you guys very important self join and you will get a question and interview for sure so hope you understood it see you in the next module till then happy coding